Good Monday morning and happy President's Day. I'm News 18 meteorologist Cameron Hopman with today's edition of your weather vlog. We continue to track snowfalls and makes its way across the viewing area. Already seeing some heavier snowfall for the northern portion of the viewing area, but the body of this system, the real oomph, really sits just off to the west of us. It's all thanks to a low pressure system making its way across Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri at this point that will swing right across the viewing area later in the day today, likely bringing snowfall to the viewing area or at least sustained snowfall as early as the next couple of hours here. So throughout the late morning, into the afternoon, and even into the evening uh, for some parts of the viewing area. But what we're really expecting is anywhere between one to four inches of total snow and sleet accumulation. It looks like that least amount of snow and sleet will likely fall in the southern portion of the viewing area. That's where temperatures will be warmest. However, that being said, we're looking at one to three inches, mainly south of Lafayette. But on top of that, we can see maybe a tenth to possibly even as much as 15 one hundredths of an inch of freezing rain on top of that snowfall and sleet. So lots of ice expected later on this afternoon as temperatures warm up here at the surface, be right at or slightly below freezing. Temperatures aloft a little bit warmer as well, so precipitation will fall as rain hitting the surface, and then instantaneously turning back into ice. So freezing rain, a possibility later this afternoon. So this morning's commute really wasn't so bad. We saw some flurries, we saw some heavier snow, mainly for the northern portion of the viewing area. It's later on this evening. A very slick commute will be a possibility later in the day today. So please, if you are traveling later on, be safe, give yourself a few extra minutes to get to wherever you're headed. Like I mentioned before, temperatures will be hitting 32 degrees later this afternoon. We'll drop back down to around 21 overnight tonight into tomorrow morning before warming all the way up to 39 tomorrow. The big thaw, we've been talking about it for a week now. Temperatures will be falling off from 39 Tuesday afternoon to 27 degrees. So we are expecting temperatures to dip back or right around freezing during the overnight, really throughout the next seven days or so. However, during the afternoon, each and every day, through the rest of the work week, we'll be staying above freezing. Check this out, 39 Tuesday. We get up to 41 on Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday, high pressure dominating, keeping things mainly clear. So both pretty nice days to say the least. We're gonna be warming all the way up to 54 degrees by Thursday afternoon. However, with those warmer temperatures comes plenty of moisture, a low pressure system making its way across the Great Plains in the Midwest, possibly even severe weather along with it. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, Plenty of convective activity. Aloft, we're talking about a pretty strong jet stream pulling a lot of that moisture and a lot of that updraft further up into the atmosphere. So we could be dealing uh, with uh, maybe the slight chance of some severe thunderstorms as well as isolated tornadoes coming our way by Thursday. We'll obviously have more throughout the week on that situation. Temperatures, once that system passes through, begin to cool off. Once again, we'll have 41 on Friday. A brief bump to 47 degrees by Saturday afternoon, begin before falling back down to around 30 degrees by Sunday with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. So we see a little bit of a uh, bump in temperatures here over the next few days. That roller coaster that is our Indiana winter 2013 and 14 will continue and does look like temperatures, even though will be warmer this week, will eventually cool back off by the end of the week and beginning of next week. If you have any questions about this forecast, feel free to email Chad, Amber, and I at weatherteam18 at WLFI.com. My personal email address is cameron.hotman at WLFI.com. You can find us on Twitter at weatherteam18. I'm on Facebook at Cameron Hotman Meteorologist. And always remember, you can also follow the News 18 This Morning Facebook page as well. Until tomorrow, folks, I'm News 18 Meteorologist Cameron Hobbin.